Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Uchu Sentai Q-Ranger review for you today. This is the DX Sasori Voyager. Sasori being the Japanese word for scorpion. So you can see this is the scorpion themed mech for the second, or I should say I guess technically number two, uh, Q-Ranger, the orange Q-Ranger here. He comes with the number two Q-Tama, which is the Sasori Q-Tama. And as it shows here, he can become an arm or a leg for Q-Reno, which of course we will take a look at. Pretty cool picture there on the top. I like that a lot. Uh, on this side, just kind of shows the Q-Tama. On this side, it shows the Mecha again. Not much going on the bottom. And then the back just kind of again shows the Q-Tama, how it can disconnect from the Mecha, how he can become an arm or a leg. And then, of course, the Q-Tama has functionality with the Seiza Blaster. So, without further ado, we'll get him out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here is a closer look at the packaging of the Sasori Voyager. Now you can notice again here on the claws, and I'm wondering if this is kind of a running theme, but they don't usually have symmetry with the color scheme. I pointed it out in the Shishi Voyager of q -Reno, and I've noticed it on some of the others as well. You can see it's got kind of a yellow streak here, and then kind of a rust brown color streak there. So in a way, it's kind of neat. I mean, it doesn't always have to be symmetrical. You can see there's some white paint here on the side and nothing on this side. It kind of, in my mind, it kind of furthers the theory that these are like individual ships that maybe pilots have been kind of flying around in the galaxy on their own. Because, you know, you, you see things like in Star Wars where you have pilots personalize their ship with decorations and things like that. So it kind of just lends itself to that kind of thinking, which I think is kind of cool for the lore of the show. Um, but yeah, some nice paint here for the cockpit. Have some small cannons down here. You have the pincer claws. You have the uh, three legs on the side here that are kind of solid together as one piece. The tail has a couple points of articulation. There's a point here, a point here, and a point here. So you can move that around. You can move it around there. And also you can push it back, push it forward. So you can get some pretty cool uh, posability there with the stinger of the scorpion, which is painted this kind of nice teal blue color, which I like a lot. Goes well with the orange. Uh, this is the Q-Tama on the back, which you can just very easily take off. As you can see, it is the number two. It has a cool picture of a scorpion here with the claws in the front and the tail. If you open it up to the kind of only half done mode, and then swing it back around, there is the full scorpion. So very cool. I like that a lot. I, overall, I really do like the look of this Voyager. I think it looks pretty neat. It, I mean, it, you can kind of see that the Scorpion was kind of squished into this half because of how the Q-Tama works. But I still think they pulled it off nicely. I do like the look of it. So now we will go ahead and check out the combinations you can do with Q right now. Alright, so first up I'm going to show an arm configuration. And I'm only going to show it on one arm because it's literally the same. You just turn it 180 to stick it on the other arm. But you're going to kind of just push these legs together and they'll fold like that. And then they have you just bring this kind of straight down to just kind of make like a straight down, you know, gun. Now, personally, I kind of like the look of it like this, but unfortunately it doesn't really fit fantastically. If we go ahead and take this off and pop it on, you can see that the legs of the scorpion kind of get in the way. So what you're going to want to do is turn it around like that. 180 and then you can connect it on and that kind of puts the gun on the inside personally i kind of like it on the outside but again it's not really doable so this is what the directions officially show and then again you would just turn this 180 and pop it on here to show it on the other arm so very similar like that but i like the look of it uh real quick i'll do the sounds or lights here try to get in close so you can see the cockpit of orange and do that again so you can see him inside there just like the others he's got the cockpit which looks pretty neat so we're gonna take that off and now to switch him into a leg very simple 
kind of lift that out of the way and then this whole section kind of lifts just like that and then you can kind of position this however you like if you want to push it up like this and kind of you know tuck it in if you want to do something with it I think this can bend no it can't so yeah you could probably do something like that if you wanted to put it up like this and then put it out like that you could do that as well that's probably what i will do um you're gonna want to turn the q tama like that you could even just put it straight up if you want gets in the way of the q tama but again it's your call and then you just pop off one of the legs here and pop it right in very simply and then i'll put this guy back on so he's not armless and there you go you got saucity as a leg I think it looks pretty good. I like him in both modes, honestly. I think he makes a pretty excellent leg. I think he looks cool as an arm as well with the gun. So I like that a lot. I kind of like uh, orange and blue being next to each other down here just because I think those colors work really well together. Not a lot of kibble or anything on the back. So he makes a pretty solid leg. I think he he's actually very good in both modes. And of course, this Qtama has functionality in the Seiza Blaster. So it says Sasuri. Some really cool sound effects there. Just kind of the sound of the scorpion scurrying around. So that's kind of cool. So, same docking sound as usual. So there's the normal attack. And there you go. That's pretty much the sounds for the Sasuri Kyutama. But yeah, very cool. I like the sounds a lot. I love the creepy sound of the scorpion scurrying around when you do the movement sounds. I think that's a really nice touch. So I really like Sasori Voyager a lot. I think it's fun to get another orange ranger because you don't usually see that very often. So I love the fact that he's orange. I think they did a really nice job compacting the scorpion mode so it doesn't look so ridiculous when you add the Qtama on the end. I think it's a respectable length. It doesn't look too weird or out of place. I mean, when you take the Qtama off, I will admit it kind of looks a little weird. But you could probably say that for most of the Voyagers in this series just because they're made to have it attached so that it looks a respectable length when it is attached because that's mainly how they're going to be shown. I think he does a really nice job as an arm and as a leg. I mean, that's not the case really for every mold out there for these Voyagers, but... I think they did a really nice job with this one where it looks good in both forms. So I really don't have anything to complain about this guy. Love the color scheme, love the paint, love the arm and leg modes for this guy. The Qtama makes some really nice sounds in the Seiza Blaster. I, it's great. I definitely would pick this one up. One of my favorites so far. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video and please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the DX Sasori Voyager from Uchu Sentai Q Ranger. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.